Step one, wake up, brother, gon' rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, think real hard about what you wanna be. Step four, fuck everybody, just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you don't know me, hi, my name is Naninga. Welcome to my channel. But um, I hope you guys are doing great wherever you are, wherever you are. And today I'm going to do what we call a foxy eye makeup look. And from what I know is that almost, I've been seeing this trend all over TikTok. I'm just going to do my interpretation of it. Um, it might not necessarily be the exact same way that TikTokers have been doing it or YouTubers have been doing it. I'm just going to do my interpretation of it. So I hope you guys are going to understand. Also, I hope you guys are going to ignore my nails because guess what, guys? Look at my nails. Look at them. I think those green things. Like, look at them well, guys. If you're seeing those green things, that's basically a bacterial infection. I know, yes, I did get a bacterial infection because of wearing uh, press-on nails. Uh, so apparently bacteria managed to get in my nail bed or something of the sort or in, on my nail. I'm not sure where it got. Uh, yeah, so I'm not going to be putting on any fake nails, any press-on nails. Neither am I going to go to the salon or to put on any nails or i'm not even going to do nail polish so kindly guys this is not that this is just a bacterial infection which apparently is a bit harmless and rarely goes systemic yes yeah so if you don't know what systemic is you can always google <laughs> so guys first of all we're going to start off with a finishing powder which is uh the black opal finishing powder in the shade medium and i'm just applying it on my eyebrows just to dry out the area so that when i apply my eyebrow products they won't slide off and then after that i'm going to go directly with my primer which i'm using the maybelline fit me matte and poreless mattifying primer and i am applying it all over my face a lot of people just apply on the t-zone of their face where their face is oily but i have a very oily face or very oily skin on my face and I'm going to apply it all over my face. That's what I just normally do. So the primer, we are going to do our eyebrows now. And I'm just starting by using a spoolie. I'm combing them up just so that they can, you know, I can get the shape better. Then I'm going in with a black pencil because dark brown basically rarely shows on my face. Um, but I do mix black and brown shades just to create like my a shade that can be seen on my skin. So I'm just using this black pencil um, to do that job, uh, which is creating the outline first. And I'm only outlining the lower part. I'm not outlining the upper part. For the upper part, I'm only outlining the corner uh, because eyebrows tend to be lighter like in the inner corner and they tend to be darker on the outer corner so we can just use the pencil on the outer corner alone and in the inner corner we'll just draw hair like structures instead of creating like a shady I think there's a reason though Ups and downs just like every different season yo Sometimes I'm high, other times I'm barely breathing though I always gotta fight and hide from the demons yo Negative thoughts are poison they ride uh. Head full of flowers so here come the clouds uh. You can see our eyebrows are looking pretty good but that's not it we are going to go in now with a dark brown shade um and this is the pastel eyebrow mascara in the shade dark brown so we are just going to go over it now this eyebrow mascara what it normally does is that it normally makes the eyebrows stay intact once you apply it your eyebrows are not going to budge even if even the color the color that we've just applied will not budge I usually have like really limited access to like eyebrow products because uh, of where I live. I live sort of in the village, so it's it's very hard to get products. Um, but um, that's why I've stayed for so long with that eyebrow mascara. There's a good amount with, of of it in that um, little tin. Now we are defining our eyebrows. For those of you who don't know, eyebrow definition is actually just making our eyebrows pop on our face. And you will do this by applying a lighter shade um, of either concealer or foundation. 
under or above your eyebrows just to make them more visible when someone looks at you so that the color contrasts and that is exactly what we are doing and we're using the shade fawn that is the illegal pro Conceal concealer in the shade fawn we are now going in with a brush and we're just going to make sure that the edges are clean um yeah so that um it doesn't look awkward and weird <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. I'm like an addict, do I gotta have it? I ain't even playing, got a really bad habit. If it moves, gotta grab it. Fuse like a magnet, lose won't have it till I'm doomed in a casket. I ain't playing, got a weird mind. If you work eight hours, I'ma work nine. If the shit tastes sour, you should taste mine. I'ma stay in power for a long time. Get up, nah, I ain't a quitter. Toss me the ball, I'm a really big hitter. Big picture. We're going to do our eyeshadow, and to start us off, we're going to prime our eyes using the Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage Under Eye Concealer in the shade. Is it caramel or honey? This is the shade honey that I'm using. And we are dabbing it all over our face. This will help the eyeshadow adhere to the surface of the skin better and therefore make it last longer. And not only that, it will also make the colors more visible, especially if you're doing a bright eyeshadow. But for this case, we are not doing a bright eyeshadow because this foxy eye look is basically uh, centered on eyeliner. Um, eyeliner is what creates this foxy eye. Um, it's not really the eyeshadow colors. But um, yeah, let's just continue blending in our pri our our concealer so that our eyeshadow can. Now that. for the eyeshadow, there's nothing much going on with the eyeshadow. We are just going to use the Makeup Revolution palette, and this is the Marvelous Mattes palette. And I'm using the shade number fourteen. This is the shade number fourteen, and I'm applying it in the inner corners of my eye. I believe I lost the footage to the first color that I applied, and I just used the shade number twelve. Uh, so number 12 was the first shade that I applied all over my eyelid and number 14 is the shade that I'm applying in the inner corner of my eye and those two shades are about it um, for this eye because I just want like the inner corners when I apply the eyeliner it will be more visible that's why I've applied a really light shade in the inner corners of my eye and then I'm going to go in with um, the shade, which is a black shade. This is number 15. Um, and I'm just going to create like a wing um, in my eye crease. Yeah, we are creating the wing in the crease of my eye just to define that crease because we want to elongate the eye. I, th I believe the foxy eye look, as I say, this is my interpretation of the foxy eye look. It's not... Um, it might not be exact, but it's my interpretation. We want to elongate our eye and that's how we are going to elongate our eye. Yeah, I've just messed up, but lucky for us, there's my cellar water. There is, yeah, cotton buds, there's what. So I just wiped, kind of tried and wiped that. And then next, um, I just felt that the eye was too plain. Um, so I needed more color on it. And so I'm going in with the color. What color was this? This is just the same palette that I'm basically using, the Revolution Marvelous Mattes palette. And this is the shade number four, which is like a reddish uh, burgundy shade. And I'm just trying to blend that up just above the crease where I've cut crease it somehow. It's, although it's not a cut crease, but I've tried to like create a wing right there. And yeah. I feel now I'm proud of myself. I'm somehow like, yeah, at least there's some color. We want to look like a bird because I like looking like a bird for some weird.
now going direct into the rest of the eye look and this part is the most important when you want to create the foxy eye as you know um a, fo a fox is not really like a cat eye but somehow they do have some features that we can kind of steal so the similarities between the cat eye and the fox eye is that um they both have like what i like to call cheetah tears but for now I will explain that uh, in a bit. For now, we're just using the Maybelline Colossal Kajal Argan Oil um, Eyeliner in extra black to line our waterline. And I normally line both the upper and the lower waterline, for those of you who've never noticed. Or if you're new to this channel, I usually always line my both waterlines. It makes a great difference. Um, Arab makeup artists are always doing this and not just the makeup artists arabs are always doing this that's why their eyes look so gorgeous um yeah so basically and i'm just trying to like uh i don't know what i'm trying to do but yeah you're seeing what i'm doing i get lost in the words i say i don't push pause no i push play i won't stop till i make a change i withdraw on the things i make i turn flaws into flawless traits I built tall, never capped in space. I won't stop till I hear him say. Need a cup of blend, that's right. In the AM, that's my only friend. No light, just the sun coming up on the horizon. I lose track of time, yeah. I move fast and climb. A new class divine, yeah. True passion shines, and I'm through passing time. I choose stacking dimes. You snooze half the time while I move passing by. Uh. I work hard each and every day. I get lost in the words I say. I don't push pause, no, I push play. I won't stop till I make a change. I withdraw on the things I make. I'm going to do the, cat, the fox eye wing. As I said, this looks, uh, the cat eye and the fox eye are very, very similar, except that this wing, as I've seen from various TikTokers, um, the wing is kind of long and also it's kind of thin. It's not very thick. Um, towards the inner corner of the eye it's like there's no wing in the inner corner of the no it's basically not in the inner corner of the eye there's no wing in the middle of the eyelid the wing is just in the outer corner and also in the inner corner but depending on you know <laughs> what your interpretation is any can do for as long as there's a wing basically this look is not complete without a wing and i'm just doing like what i was calling cheetah eyes uh, if you look at any cat eye or any fox, you'll see like these black markings in the inner corner of the eye. And I think that is really what makes an animal eye. I think they should just call this animal eye because I'm confused. What's the difference between a cat eye and a fox eye? Because if you look at cheetahs and leopards, they also have these black markings in the inner corner of the eye. And when you look at a fox, it also has the same thing. Uh, so that is how... It looks basically in a corner of the eye wing you create an inner corner of the eye wing and you also create an outer corner of the eye wing to elongate our eye basically yes i've talked too much but now you get the point of what a fox eye is so as you can see this is basically the completed look i know the eyes are not same they're not the same but i was struggling a bit with like making the eyes look identical but uh, yeah, I'm just going in with my brush and just blending out uh, the pink and the, the other color so that at least it, you know, it gradually fades into the other color, as you can see. And then we are going to do our lower lashes because um, we're going to do thick lashes. Uh, we are doing the lower lashes with mascara. So the upper lashes are going to be fake, but the lower lashes are going to use mascara. And I'm just using the Maybelline Colossal. Is it? The, yeah, the Colossal in 100% black mascara. That's the one I'm using on my lower lash line. As you can see, there's a difference. They're more visible. The area looks darker. It's good. 
never forget your lower lashes guys don't forget that they exist For the next face of face beat we are starting off with our concealer and we are applying it in the areas that we want to look lighter than our face um or basically the areas that we want kind of highlighted which is the lower eyes to also like conceal the dark circles and at the same time to highlight and i'm using the same um concealer that i used on my eyelids as an eyeshadow primer which is the maybelline superstay concealer full coverage it's actually a full coverage concealer and this is the shade honey which is number 30 this is several shades lighter than my normal skin tone i will not lie but um i'm going to use like a medium setting powder to set it so that it's not extremely bright if um yeah basically that's it and i'm just using a flat brush to pat it in and the reason I normally start off with a flat brush is that I just feel that it does a better job if you actually combine the brush and the beauty blender and not just one of them. So I normally start off with a flat brush and make sure that it is carefully and evenly spread and then that's when I'll use the beauty blender, which I'm going to do as you're going to see. For the next phase of our face we are using the crayola beauty lip and cheek crayon and that's the shade mango tango excuse the fly i don't know what it's doing there this is not your video get away fly but um basically i've used that lip and cheek crayon it's it has a highlighter shade the other one which was the mango tango it sort of has a highlighter sh shimmer to it so i applied it where well, you saw me applying it and then next we are applying the shade very cherry which is basically a really dark red shade and that is what we're going to use as blush so i'm just applying this using a flat brush again and then i'm going to go in with a beauty blender i believe yes and then after it's nice and like blended is when we'll do our foundation positive thoughts are overtaken i got patience one day at a time is how you operate a cadence a flow you grow you show yourself the foundation stay away from all the shit that causes temptation so we're using the maybelline super stay full coverage foundation and this is the shade coconut not to be confused with warm coconut do my best man i'll take it wake up today's gonna be a good day 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 Now the 
because I used a really really light shade of concealer for my under eyes I'm going to like set it with the shade medium although I have taken time before I started setting it but this is uh, the black opal true color um, soft velvet finishing powder in the shade medium so that will like offset the extreme brightness under the eyes and then now we're going to do our lips and to do this I'm going to first line my lips with a really dark brown pencil and then Oh wow, it appears that I cut off a lot of that. But the lipstick that I've actually used is the Maybelline. Um is it called the let me see the name of this the sensational Maybelline Sensational lipstick in the shade Keep It Mellow, which is like a really pink shade that would be very unflattering on my lips had I not blended it in with that brown pencil. So I've mostly concentrated on the center of my lips and for the outer part of my lips, I've just done the dark brown pencil because um, as I've said, that shade is very unflattering on my dark skin. So if you have a shade that looks very terrible when it's on its own, um, try blending it in with a different color of pencil. And yes, that's exactly what I've done. So this is the shade Keep It Mellow, which is from the Maybelline Sensational range. We are not yet done with our lips and finally what we're going to do to finish our lips is that we're going to apply the Maybelline Lifter Gloss in the shade Crystal because this is um, like it has like dark brown crystals, golden, brownish, bronzish, whatever you want to call it, um, crystals in it. But I really love the fact that it is so good and like it feels so good on the lips. This is the best feeling gloss I've ever come across like how it feels on the lips and it's not drying at all um so i also like that it flatters a dark skin tone so i'm just going to apply it all over my lips i know right now it looks like i'm not applying it all over my lips but i'm applying it all over my lips and yeah basically that's how it's going to look and yeah i really like this lip gloss it was a good investment i know for some people that's not an investment but for me it was a really good investment um yeah, so the shade is 010, which is crystal. And then after that, we are just going to go in with our setting powder. Though I think um, I changed my mind about going in. No, I didn't change my mind. So first, I'm just going to remove that um, powder that I applied under my eyes, which is the black opal powder. I applied it in all the areas that I applied my concealer. That's the first thing we're going to do. And then next, yes, indeed, I did change my mind. I didn't apply that setting powder from Maybelline. I applied the Makeup Revolution Mega Bronzer in the shade Dark, and I used it specifically for creating my fake nose <laughs> attempted fake nose. No, for like, um, what is it called? Like, defining my nose, slimming my nose, whatever you want to call it. Uh, that's what I use this mega bronzer from Makeup Revolution 4. And this is the shade Dark. Mm -hmm. It's a really big bronzer. And then after um, contouring my nose, I did take that Super Stay Full Coverage Foundation. Um, not foundation, sorry, this is the Maybelline Super Stay Full Coverage. Yes, it's a powder foundation actually, but I'm applying it as setting powder and I'm applying it all over my face just to set my entire face. Um, yeah, and it says 16 hours. So apparently it's supposed to say, stay for 16 hours. So I think I'll test these products out and really see if they they stay for that 16 hours so that powder i've just applied although i've not applied it as a foundation powder it's supposed to be a foundation powder but i've used it as a setting powder it's supposed to stay for 16 hours then after that we're just going to go in with our highlighter and for highlighter i'm using this nyx high glass illuminating powder and i love this is the best honestly this is the best 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 affordable highlighter that i've ever used 
um it just has like a natural glow and this is the shade golden hour so it's by nyx some people call it nyx i call it nyx and yeah it's the high glass illuminating powder in the shade golden hour as you can see our face is basically done i don't know why i went in again with the powder that's not powder that's bronzer yes it is bronzer and it's the same bronzer that i used by makeup revolution to contour my nose and i'm just applying it like basically where you're seeing me apply applying you know contouring and highlighting are techniques that are supposed to be used differently for different face shapes so unless you know your face shape best and you want to know exactly where you want highlighted where you want contoured it's not the same for everybody then i'm going to apply my setting spray which is quite unnecessary but it's in my closet so i have to use it and that's just the maybelline fix it setting spray i need to get a new setting spray because i think i've stayed with that one for forever that's why i'm trying to like just finish it <laughs> honestly i find it so difficult to like buy other products when i haven't finished the ones i have but basically guys that is our fox eye look as you can see our eye looks kind of elongated um yeah tell me what you think about this eye look in the comment section don't forget to subscribe guys and i'll see you in the next video bye, bye.